an oil play? Uh, the what? So, as a country, uh, the uh, the high oil price is um, given it some stability. Let's say in terms of the financials. However, there's a structural story at play there. You've got a government that is starting to reform. You've got 160 million people who've got oil as a as a sort of foundation. But you're start, you know, th the biggest cost to a bank in Nigeria is diesel. Why is that? Because they have to power their own branches. So the government has started a reform on the power program in order to get uh, a grid and electricity generation up to where it should be. And of course, the economic snowball effect from that is huge. And the, as costs of doing business come down, that's very uh, very attractive for an investor such as myself. But what about in light of some of the extremist violence that we've seen recently in Nigeria? Is there a possibility that some of that progress might be set back? It is. It's very sad to say. If you look at a map of Nigeria, the northern part is is a much poorer part. Uh, you know, three of the states are under emergency rule at the moment. From an economic perspective, they're very small. So whilst it's very sad on a humanitarian humanitarian level, actually from an economic and investment point of view, it's almost irrelevant. Which is uh, I'm sad to say. But you know, the oil production is in the south. You've got Lagos, which is the commercial hub, um, and that's where a lot of the activity is happening. A lot of the um, the attractiveness to invest there is, is from.